I bought cheap, expensive, and absurdly priced red wine vinegar to see which was most worth the money. We'll run through a few tests and at the end we'll pick a winner. First, at $2 we have great value red wine vinegar. I love how they felt the need to put pictures on the label showing you how to use it. I'm expecting this to taste like a 9 volt Duracell battery so I called their quality guarantee number to see how to get my money back. They told me to take the vinegar back to the store and talk to a salaried manager. You mean I have to drive 13 miles back to Walmart just to tell an hourly employee that my $1.98 refund is above their pay grade? Next, at $5.69, we have the hardest selling label of vinegar I've ever seen. I counted and the word organic shows up on this bottle no less than eight times. It's oak wood aged, 100% barrel aged, natural. It's from Italy. It's from Napa Valley. I don't even know who makes this vinegar. Napa Valley Natural, Stonewall Kitchen, Robert Louis Stevenson. Then we have the godfather of vinegars, Banyuls Wine Vinegar Traditional, five years old. This vinegar is old enough to be in kindergarten. Banyuls is a French AOC making wines from old vines and terraces on the slopes of Catalan Pyrenees in the Rossillian County of France. They age the wine for four years in oat barrels bathing in the Mediterranean sun, then bring it in to acidify it and age it for one more year, again in an oat barrel. A 500 milliliter bottle of this is going to cost you a whopping 25 American US dollars. Now for a blind taste test. This one, I don't know how to describe it other than just harsh. This one definitely has a lot more sweetness to it. You can taste other flavors beyond just the harsh vinegarness. This one is similar to this one, but pushes everything a little bit further. Even tastes like it has a bit of a balsamic quality to it. There's 100% without a doubt a quality difference. I'm very confident in my prediction this time. This is the cheap one, this is the medium one, and this is the expensive one. Unless you're some kind of freak of nature, you're probably not eating or drinking straight red wine vinegar. So let's do a test that's a little bit more realistic. I made a quick vinaigrette using these ingredients here. I made three batches, kept everything else the same, and swapped out the vinegars. Then threw the dressing on some mixed greens. Start with the cheap one. In this context, it's really not bad. Tastes like uh, dressing that I've had a thousand times. That's definitely better than the cheap one. Just adds a little bit more complexity to it. A little bit more fruit. You still get the vinegar component that you get that's the primary driver of the cheap one. A little bit more depth. So tasting these on their own, they're very distinct and different. When you combine all the elements together, I'm surprised at how similar the mid-tier and the expensive one are. There's a decent step up when you go from cheap to medium. Not as much as a difference when you go over here. You get rid of the harsh vinegar kick by moving up to the mid-tier, but when you add in all the other ingredients, the gap is much wider from here to here versus here to here. I do like the expensive one a bit better, but if I was at someone's house or maybe at a restaurant, if I tasted either one of these, I would say they're using a quality vinegar. The cheap one, I think I'd be able to tell just because of the strong vinegar kick. For the next test, we're gonna make a simple marinade using the ingredients you see here. Keep in mind, this video is not sponsored. I don't accept any free products. And I bought all these ingredients with my own money. We're gonna put this marinade in a plastic bag with a chicken tendy about an hour before we throw it in the oven to bake. Here's what they look like coming out, so let's give it a taste. Not picking up a ton of red wine vinegar on the first one. A little concerning because that was the one that was so pungent when we tried it plain. I'm not tasting vinegar on the second one, but I'm tasting more of those berry type flavors that I was getting when I tried it plain. Oh. The expensive one steps it up even more. Those oaky, woody flavors, that aged kind of almost balsamic quality is coming through a lot better on this as opposed to even the second one. I honestly expected to be able to tell no difference. I can tell a difference between each one of these. I think even if I was blind, I'd be able to tell the difference. At this point, I think we've done enough tests to determine which vinegar is most worth the money.
Okay, so I'm gonna keep it real with you. I did not expect this one. This is the stuff I've always bought, whether it be the Great Value brand or just the generic brand at the grocery store. I've always kind of thought that red wine vinegar was red wine vinegar. I know other vinegars can vary in quality pretty significantly, but for whatever reason, I've always just gone with the cheapest red wine vinegar I could find. You're getting three unique experiences with these three vinegars. This one's more of a harsh, just vinegar flavor. This one is, you still get the vinegar flavor, but it's more of a berry forward flavor. And then this one is like an aged, almost has a balsamic quality. I don't wanna say it tastes like balsamic vinegar, but has some of that balsamic like muskiness to it. I'm gonna use the rest of this bottle for like salad dressings and things like that. It's not awful, it's what I'm used to eating, but I've definitely converted. Now the question is, should you go all the way up to $25? Does it just blow you out of the water when you have this? Or is this one good enough at like five or six dollars? For me, this is a good one to have on hand. This is gonna give you an experience that's not like anything else you're probably gonna have in your pantry. I think $25 isn't crazy to spend for this because you know, it's a pretty good sized bottle. You're not gonna be using it every day. This is gonna last you a long time. Because it has so much flavor and robustness to it, it's not gonna take a ton to flavor your dishes. But for me and what I'm gonna be buying going forward, surprisingly, is this guy. This is significantly better than this. And yes, I think it's at least worth three times the price. 